Hi, I'm Edon Bile, and I'll be walking you through the synthesis of rhodium chromium oxide loaded flux aluminum doped strontium titanate microparticles, which are capable of overall photocatalytic water splitting under sunlight only. The methods presented are built off the work of Hammett et al. and Maeda et al. in the preparation of flux aluminum doped strontium titanate and the rhodium chromium oxide co catalyst, respectively. The synthesis procedure can be broken into three parts the synthesis of strontium titanate, the flux-mediated aluminum doping, and the rhodium-chromium oxide co-catalyst loading. Let's begin with the synthesis of strontium titanate. Strontium carbonate and titanium oxide powders are combined in a 1 to 1 molar ratio. The powders are ground together with a mortar and pestle, with a small amount of ethanol added to aid in this process. The mixed powder is then transferred into a crucible and compressed into a pellet. The powder containing crucible is then placed into a box furnace where it is heated to 1000 degrees Celsius for 10 hours with an initial ramp of 10 degrees Celsius per minute, yielding strontium titanate powder. Now we'll continue with the aluminum doping and washing procedure. The strontium titanate powder is combined with strontium chloride hexahydrate in a 1 to 10 molar ratio. The strontium chloride hexahydrate will act as a flux between the strontium titanate powder and an alumina crucible. The powders are ground together with a mortar and pestle, and the mixture is then transferred into the alumina crucible. The powder containing alumina crucible is then placed into the box furnace and heated to 1100 degrees Celsius for 10 hours with an initial ramp of 10 degrees Celsius per minute, yielding aluminum-doped strontium titanate. The resulting aluminum-doped strontium titanate powder must then be washed with water in order to remove any residual strontium chloride. The powder is transferred into a centrifuge tube by suspending it in water with a sonicator and then transferring via pipette. The tube is then centrifuged at 3,500 RPM for 7 minutes before the supernatant is decanted off. Since strontium chloride, unlike aluminum-doped strontium titanate, is soluble in water, it is removed with the supernatant during decanting. Water is then added to the tube and the powder resuspended by a sonication before being once again centrifuged and decanted. The complete washing cycle is repeated 5 times in all. To the final supernatant, a few drops of silver nitrate are added, and the absence of silver chloride precipitate confirms there is no lingering strontium chloride in the aluminum doped strontium titanate powder. The clean aluminum doped strontium titanate powder is then left to dry overnight in a vacuum. Lastly, the rhodium chromium oxide co catalyst must be loaded onto the aluminum doped strontium titanate microparticles. Rhodium and chromium are both to be loaded at 0.1% by mass, and in the case of this synthesis, rhodium and chromium will come in the forms of rhodium chloride and chromium nitrate nonahydrate solutions. With a few additional drops of water, the powder and coke catalyst mixture is placed in a hot water bath where it is slowly stirred with a pipette until it is mostly dry. Still in the small beaker, the mixture is heated to 350 degrees Celsius for one hour in a tube furnace. This produces the desired rhodium-chromium oxide loaded flux aluminum doped strontium titanate microparticles. These microparticles can now be used for hydrogen fuel production via solar-driven photocatalytic water splitting.